let you get to me once now, baby But I'll never let you in again I'll let you get to me once now, baby That's 178 yeah. So that's... But that's, those scales are like 3 pounds heavier than yours They tend to be heavier than the ones that yeah. I remember like. Interesting. Mm. I don't feel 178 pounds. Feel lighter? Yeah. Do you think, like, if anything, I think I'm a bit fuller from you all the barbecues yeah. and stuff. I say all the barbecues, I had a burger and a sausage, but you get what I mean. You mean all the snacks? Yeah, I had a lot of crisps. I had a lot of crisps. Like, I can see that, like the vein coming in my shoulder and stuff, like, I don't know if you can see that from there, but... I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Dread. <laughs> I'll let you get to me once now, baby But I'll never let you in again What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Thank you for tuning in today. Drop the video a like if you're excited. You can see by the title we have a dieting update today. We started off the day with some porridge oats. I kind of spontaneously last night went to Charlotte's house and so didn't have any food preps or anything like that. Luckily they had a porridge pot and I had some protein with me so I literally just shoved a scoop of protein, chocolate orange flavour, so it was a very, very delightful, very nice breakfast. As you can see, I'm currently in the car. Um, I'm heading to work because, um, well, long story short, we have a meeting today that I completely forgot about, um, and so I'm on my way to work. I'd planned like a big social media day, I was going to film a couple of videos, I got a QA and a that you guys have asked me to do, and yeah, long story short, that's, that's, that's not happening anymore, but it's all good. It's all good, we're on our way to work. Um, we're not stressing about it at all. We've got a monster and we're gonna have a good day. So drop the video a like if you are excited people and let's get it going. I let you get to me once now, baby, but I'll never let you in again. I let you get to me once now, baby, but I'll never let you in again. Hey pups, hello doggies. Good morning, good girls. How you been then, Clicky? Huh? Did you have a good day? You had a good day? Hey, is that a squeaky ball? Oh my god. One of them's obviously found this from bloody years ago. Years and years ago. I think, I think we had that when we first got you, Flip. About eight years ago. Now, maybe seven, or is it six? How long have we had you, dog? Huh? Clever girl! Come, come. That's it. Good girl. I don't know. Come, come. Sit. Say hello to the people. Hello, people. Good girl. You want it? What about you, you nutter? Huh? Woo? Woo? You? Go. So, today is... A push day, kind of, sort of. I'm going to show you most of it. And this is uh, going to be going down. I know I've been taking this, um, what might seem like a lot in the videos, but there's still a lot left in here, a, a lot. The thing is though, because this is a cool new product, I show you guys every single time I take it in the same way that I, I I have a monster most days, but I show you guys every single one that I actually have and so you guys think I actually have a lot more than I actually do if that makes any sense whatsoever, but 
Mo says they are made for the days when you are struggling for motivation and today is one of those days. The meeting is finished, um, it was a good meeting but it was very tiring, you know, you had to concentrate for a couple of hours and stuff. Um, that sounds like I'm moaning about absolutely nothing but you get what I mean, like things like that when you have to be kind of on the ball, when you have to focus, does, does tire you out. So, not feeling very motivated right now but we're going to go and get it done. One minute. I mean... I really don't have that many. I mean, I don't really know what you guys are moaning at. <laughs> so this weigh-in, right, from Charlotte's house, we, we have the same scales over at Charlotte's house, but that for some reason they always weigh you three or four pounds heavier um, than what you weigh here. Um, which makes me wonder what my actual weight is, maybe something kind of in between, I, I don't know. But, I mean, I'm just going to test and see, the, bearing in mind this is the middle of the day, I've just drank some Monster, just drank a load of water, I had my lunch before I headed back from work. You know, let's see the difference between the scales. Okay, bear with, bear with me people, this is kind of a uh, spare of the moment weighing. You are watching this live on LSJ TV. Oh my god. Wow, come on, sort yourself out, Liam. Hang on. That'll do, right? Let's, let's zoom there. Wait. Okay, cool. So, shorts are coming off. I'll leave the socks on on the basis that. Oh, hamstring, bruh! So, the time right now is around about 3 pm. And the scales are weighing me at 177.6 pounds. So, Charlotte scales first thing this morning weighed me in at 178 pounds. That's halfway through the day with two meals in me and a load of water, and it says I'm 177. So, do not let the scales kind of um, get in your head with the dieting phase. Uh, I did a post about this on Instagram the other day. There's so many factors that can actually affect your weigh-ins, whether you've been to the toilet or not, it might be too much information, but at the end of the day, this is information that you guys need to know if you are gonna be weighing yourself on a consistent basis, right? So, one, have you been to the toilet uh, before you weighed yourself? How much water did you drink for be uh, before bed? How much sleep have you had? Did you train yesterday? What kind of foods did you eat yesterday? Have you eaten yet? Drink, drink. Can't talk. Have you eaten yet? Drank anything yet? And forgotten about it? And yes, that happens to me a lot. I'm like, oh, I'm a bit heavier today. Wait a minute. I got up and drank some more. Do you see what I mean? Like, there's there are things that can affect um, your weigh-ins, and lots of people don't think, and myself included at times, don't even think about these things as being a factor that affects your weigh-in. So don't let it get in your head. Stick to what you're doing. Trust what you're doing. If you have a coach, listen to that coach. Do what they say. Trust the process and trust within yourself that you are working hard enough to see those results. And enjoy. So, it's time to train. Okay, starting off, let me turn this down for copyright. Trying for an extra wide grip. By extra wide, I mean we're actually tapping here. We have hands here, rather than in here, okay? That for me and what my body is used to, what my nervous system is used to, is very wide. Um, to some of you at home, you're thinking, oh, my grip's loads widening than that. Well, yeah, mine isn't. <laughs> so I'm slowly but surely widening it. Very, very slowly, but very, very surely as well. So what I'm doing today is dropping the weight, just focus on the squeeze in the chest, because obviously the wider your hands are, the more you're using your chest rather than shoulders and triceps. So I'm just focusing on getting the form perfect on that, really. Trying to reduce that bounce, because there can be quite bad for the bounce on the chest press. 
on the bench press, sorry. And uh, yeah, that's that really. So I haven't really felt a decrease in, in strength in any way since dieting. Um, I would say it's more just uh, strength hasn't increased. Weights haven't really gone anywhere in a bad way. Like, you know, my shoulder press hasn't gone down. My bench press hasn't really gone down. I mean, I know I'm doing that, but that's for the purpose that I just mentioned. Nothing's really gone anywhere, but my weight's gone down a lot. You know, I've, I've lost my lowest weigh in is 176 pounds dead uh, for, this, for this dieting phase. And so that is, considering we started off 189.3 or something like that, that's pretty good going, you know, to not have lost, well, any strength. And if anything, up until a couple of weeks ago, my strength was still increasing, which obviously you can do when you first start off in a deficit. But pretty happy with that overall. So I'm just going to kind of plod along with today's session, enjoy it as I go along. And yeah, good vibes all around. Good vibes all around. Drop the video a like if you have enjoyed it so far. Let's keep it going. Okay, bit of tension, bit of tightness there. It was there before the video actually started. Um, so I don't want to push my luck. I can't be bold with getting injured at this point in time. Yeah. It's time to try something new. Straps. So we've had these for a while, and the old man actually uses them for similar reasons to what I'm about to use them right now. Get a bit of wrist pain every now and then. And to be honest, I just want it, just for a bit of security. I want to still be able to smash my session with the same intensity, and just for today, even if it's a bit of a placebo effect, I want that placebo effect, you know? Not this time. You know what? I'll take that decreased reps with what I expected. But to be honest, the pain went, so I'm gonna stick with these for the rest of the session. Drop the weight, drop the ego, and on we go. I let you get to me once now, baby. But I'll never let you win again. I let you get to me once now, baby. But I'll never let you win again. I let you get to me, I let you get to me, get to me, I let you get to me, I let you get to me, get to me, I let you get to me, I let you get to me, get to me, I let you get to me, I let you get to me, get to me. You know what guys, right, this, this video is like a, a diet update, right, so diet slash physique update and, and all that kind of stuff, right, so we've got 17, 16 days from now until body power, that's two and what, a half weeks, so time to maybe lose another three pounds. Initially when we started off this, this dieting um, phase, 
the goal was to hit 170 pounds. But then because I, I kind of got into this mindset of, oh, I'm going to be cutting for the next, you know, three months. And so I kind of just went nuts for about maybe a week or two. And to be honest, put on another few pounds. And yes, I know some of that will have been water weight. But the top weight for this, for the beginning of this was actually 189 point something. And so in so many weeks, I've lost, you know, 12, 13, well, I've lost 13 pounds in about 11 to 12 weeks. So fairly, fairly standard, right? And that is what I would recommend for, for you guys. If you are looking to maintain as much muscle mass, this is one of the massive questions I got when I did the muscle food takeover, right? Is how to maintain muscle whilst, in, whilst dieting and whilst losing weight or how to build muscle and lose weight and all that kind of stuff. And it's really not rocket science guys I mean it's going to take some willpower it's going to take some motivation it's going to take some drive it's going to take some commitment you know from yourself and you know if you have a coach again like I said earlier listen to that coach because that coach well if you have a good one knows what they're talking about and will help you reach your goal right my personal recommendation is to aim for one pound a week because one that's achievable and two, if you are like me and you are looking to maintain as much strength, as much muscle mass as possible, that is going to be the best way for you to possibly do it. And don't get me wrong, if you have the time to cut down and, and lose even less than that per week, yeah, it might get a bit boring because you have to stick to your macros for freaking ages, but the chances are you will maintain more muscle mass than a person who loses three, four times, uh, three, four pounds a week, not three, four times. Um, oh, goodness. That is the... Uh, the monster keeping me going. I do apologize, guys. But anyway, a few of you guys will actually remember that at the very beginning, we said we wanted to be 170 pounds at body power. And then I kind of was convinced that I put on a couple of pounds of muscle, and so that kind of increased a little bit. My, my original kind of uh, weigh-in was 189 rather than 183, I think. And so all of a sudden, we had best part of 20 pounds instead of just over 10 to lose. And the reality of me actually reaching that and maintaining as much muscle mass as possible before body power is just not attainable. And so, to be honest, I would be happy with anywhere in and around 175. But given the fact that I'm currently 176, I would like to be 172 slash 173. I know that's a lot of numbers, but essentially what you need to take from that is I would like to be 172 slash 173 pounds. Um, and with the rate that things are going, you know, that's possible. That's going to happen. I am committed. I'm currently training on a five day split, upper lower split, hint, hint. The new plan is coming. I'm tailoring it. This is kind of, again, testing, you know, I'm still testing. I'm still perfecting it. I'm still making it perfect for me because at the end of the day, if I'm making a plan specific to me, just like a trainer would with a client, you have to make it specific to that client. I am my own client in this case. I have to make it specific to me. And to do that, in order for me to make the progress that I want to make, I have to try a few new things out. Um, I've been training for a while now, so I have to kind of experiment with new things, new techniques and all that kind of stuff. And I have been doing that. And that, might, that to be honest, that's quite hard for me to to get across on camera because one, I don't want to give the game away. I don't want to give away what the new plan is just like that, you know, because uh, I don't want to be giving out all this stuff and me not end up following through with it, you know? So I am testing stuff um, and it will get perfected eventually, right? Um, but 176 pounds is the lowest weigh in of this dieting phase so far. We said 170, we'd be happy at 172, 173, right? And that is what I want you guys to, to take from this, is exactly what I just said. We would be happy at 172, 173. What you guys have to do is, is take a look in the mirror. It's as simple as that, because at the end of the day, who gives a flying fuck what anybody else thinks? What matters is what's in here. Are you happy with the way you look? Are you happy with the way you feel? Are you happy with, you know, well, everything? The most important thing is what's going on in here. So as long as you feel happy and as long as you feel content with the way you look, the way you are progressing, where you are in your life, in your training, then there is no issue, 
right? So initially, I had in my head this picture, if I wasn't gonna be 170 pounds, then I would be unhappy with the way I look. And to be honest, that is the unhealthy thing. The fact that I have to be at this number, otherwise I'm gonna be unhappy. Like, what the hell is that, you know? 172, 173, I'm pretty sure I will be content with that. Because with the way I look now at 176 pounds, I've recognized the progress I've made, I'm happy with the progress I've made, and I realized that the rate I am losing weight at will not hinder me in other ways with the pushing movements like my shoulder press goal and you know, well just everything, just training in general. Lifts tend to suffer when you're in a calorie deficit and so losing weight at that one pound a week does allow you to hold on to as much muscle mass and as much um, strength as possible. And so I am content with the rate that I am losing weight, the rate that I am... Oh God, this monster is giving me proper gas. Just the rate that everything is going. I'm happy, I'm content. And as long as you are too, then you can't really complain, you know? Who gives a fuck if someone else thinks, if Joe Bloggs next door to you thinks that you should weigh this amount and then you would look good, then we'll sod Joe Bloggs. You know, sorry to anyone out there that's called Joe Bloggs, but I'm gonna do me. You know, there's, when you put stuff out on social media as much as I do, people do form an opinion of you, form an opinion of how you should be doing everything that you are doing. Um, and all you have to do, because you get this in real life as well, all you have to be, all you have to do is be content with um, where you are and where you're going in here because you are the only one that really matters. You are your only competition and you are the only person that you have to be, unless you're in a bodybuilding competition. But most of you aren't. So focus on you, focus on your goals and how you can get there. Relax, enjoy the process and smash those freaking workouts. Good vibes, man.